Okay, and now comes my favorite part of any build, and that's building the rear wheel, or any wheel for that matter. Rear front, enjoy it all. So, pick a nice, comfortable spot in the backyard, and uh, in the shade, and with a beverage of choice, and uh, that's work. Don't expect this to be an instructional, it's just entertainment. You can go somewhere else on the web and find instructional videos for this. Okay, who moved the valve hole? So it begins. Now I've got all the leading spokes in, time to put the trailing spokes in. And this is about the point where you find out whether you uh, did good calculations on your spoke length calculations, because uh, if you didn't, it'll become apparent at this stage. So far this looks pretty good. Now we're getting down on the short strokes here now. There is some sense of... There is something... Well, there's something mysterious to what I, I completely get the fascination with, with, with what's going on. I, I've been standing there on my front lawn watching them do their thing. Okay, last spoke. So that took uh, all of about 18 minutes to get the lacing done. Well, it looks like a wheel, but it won't work like a wheel until we do the truing and tensioning. So that starts now. Getting the slack out of the spokes, starting to bring it to the point where it'll start to tension up. So as soon as we get to that point, we'll move to the truing stand and start the truing and tensioning process. The fun part.
barrel true looking pretty good. It's got a little bit of a hop in it here, about a millimeter or so. Try and get that out. So far I've just been guessing at it. We'll see how close I got. Oh, pretty darn close. Just got to bring it to the drive side just a hair. Tension's running. See whether we do it by loosening one side or tightening one side. Uh, looks like we're still running low on the tension, so I'll bring it over by tightening the drive side spokes. Okay, we're giving the drive side spokes all a quarter turn. Check it again for lateral true. This stage, the adjustments you make are all very small. Just about bang on. So now we'll start bringing the tension up. We want a uh, minimum of 100 kilograms of force, 100 to 110. And we're not there yet. Because there's almost no dish on the wheel, it's going to be pretty even side to side. So that's one reason I like gear hubs is you get a very stable wheel because you get even tension without the dish. Very strong wheels. Okay, tension's good. She's running true. Little tiny hop at the seam. There goes the FedEx truck. Like I said, a wee tiny hop at the seam, but I'm already uh, running high tension at the seam as it is, so I'm not going to uh, not going to bother with that. So the only thing we've got left to do is uh, check for spoke wind up, and then uh, after that, do a final true. The tension's looking good, and we'll be done. end of the axle on the board on the floor and then go around the wheel and press on the rim. Oh, old man shouldn't have to put himself down in this early position but press on the rim and listen and feel for spoke heads popping that means that there's wind up there that you're relieving. So far nothing. I find that by uh, Greasing the inside of the eyelets before you uh, place it up usually eliminates or at least alleviates that. This wheel just feels so strong. There's no flex there at all. 
nothing. Hey, we're still nice and true. Our tension is just about up where we want it. Pretty well balanced. Now we can call it a wheel. It's ready to go to work. Next we'll put the rim strip on it. Install the tube and tire. Tires mounted and uh, bike's ready to, or the wheel's ready to stick on the bike and ride. Uh, these Sturmy Archer hubs, you can double cog them with the dished cogs. You can put two cogs on there back to back. And uh, with a uh, derailleur, you could feasibly double the gearing. Uh, but if you're using eighth inch cogs, of course, uh, you might have a problem passing a chain through a an eighth inch chain through a derailleur, but I've seen it done with uh, cheapo derailleurs just by putting a washer uh, between the jockey wheel and the outer plate just to widen it out a little bit, or you could just, uh, you can get 3 seconds cogs for these as well. So if you wanted to double up the gearing, it's not that hard to do.